basically completely forgot about the All Black naming that morning. Uh, so I was actually having a cup of tea with Grandma and Granddad, and then I started getting all these congratulations texts. Simultaneously, I got named in the All Blacks and had the mumps at the same time and couldn't fly out the day I was supposed to because I had to quarantine. I was playing for Taranaki at the time and I had this missed call and then a message, you know, Darren Shan, All Blacks manager, uh, give me a call and I'm thinking, I look at the number, it's got like a Christchurch, um, you know, code. And I'm like, surely the boys aren't smart enough to, you know, prank me by doing this code that's from another place in Auckland. And yeah, said I was called into the into the All Blacks for, for injury cover and that was a, a whole wave of emotion. I was in the sheds after the game and then got asked by our manager that Steve Hansen and Darren Chan want to see me. They gave me the good news that I was going to be named in the All Blacks tomorrow. Yeah, it was cool. It was seriously cool. I just finished a game for the Hurricanes. We played the Waratahs and our manager, Tony Ward, walked over to me and handed me his cell phone. He said, it's Darren Shand. And Shandy gave me the good news, said, congrats, um, you've made the Steinlager series for the upcoming test um, against Ireland. And we need you to be in Auckland tomorrow morning. So we're on the first flight out and um, walking into my room and seeing Dan Carter in there, that was, uh, yeah, straight into the deep end.